we are going to look at just a few facial muscles mm, so let's start with the hair this one over here is the occipital frontalis because it's connected in the front to the uh, frontalis uh, via a tendon uh, this is tendon is known as galea aponeurosis so it's known as the galea aponeurosis and then this little bitty muscle in the back is the occipitalis muscle so all of these together is known as the epicranial muscles okay the frontalis muscle inserts itself um, above the supraorbital margin on the eye and then it originates on the galea aponeurosis its function is to raise the eyebrows okay and then the occipitalis muscle on the back originates on the occipital bone in the bottom and the mastoid process and it inserts itself into the galea aponeurosis so the function of the occipitalis muscle is to pull the scalp posteriorly this next muscle group that I isolated over here is the muscles involved in mastication or chewing. So this muscle over here is the masseter muscle. Uh, and the masseter muscle, um, it originates on the zygomatic arch and it inserts into the angle and the ramus of the mandible. The other muscle for mastication is the temporalis muscle right by the temporal bone. So when you chew your food and you hold your temples, you can feel these muscles working. So temporalis muscle originates on the temporal bone and it inserts itself uh, on the uh, coronoid process of the mandible right so the coronoid process of the mandible the function of the temporalis muscle is to elevate the jaw meaning it helps in closing the jaw okay so this is the temporalis muscle and this is the masseter muscle both of these muscles are synergistic to each other because both these muscles help in closing the jaw by elevating the jaw this muscle is orbicularis oris. Okay, so the next muscle, orbicularis oris, has been highlighted. Orbicularis oris originates at the fascia associated uh, with the maxilla, mandible, and the lip. So it's not a bone, it just originates at the fascia and it inserts. Uh, in the muscles and skin at the angle of the mouth okay so the function of orbicularis oris is uh, that it helps us burst and pucker the lips so the next muscle in here that i want to talk about is the buccinator or buccinator muscle The buccinator muscle is also uh, called the trumpeter's muscle and it helps in uh, compressing the cheek when we are blowing or suckling while blowing a trumpet or while uh, uh, blowing air into a balloon. These are the muscles that help. So the buccinator muscle is also known as trumpeter's muscle and these are well developed at birth so they help in suckling in babies okay so the superior muscle actually developed by the time we are 16 years of age but in younger children only the lower buccinator muscles are well developed and then they originate at the alveolar process uh, of the maxilla and mandible 
so these are the alveolar process which are the sockets of the maxilla and mandible okay and they insert on the orbicularis oris muscle in the back that you don't see over here but they insert at the orbicularis oris muscle and their function is to pucker and purse the, uh, the so the, the compare compress the cheek when they are blowing or suckling all right um sorry about that okay so right over here you see the buccinator's muscle and they insert at the orbicularis oris muscle right over here and they also insert at the alveolar process uh, at the posterior maxilla and mandible now the next muscle over here is the zygomatic muscle there are two zygomatic muscles zygomatic major it's right over here and zygomatic minor zygomatic major is a big muscle on the lip not too big but it helps us give a big smile and it originates on the ventral part of the zygomatic arch and inserts itself in this region and this region is known as the modiolus i have to change this we are talking about the zygomatic oops what happened zygomatic muscle and they insert at a region known as the modiolus modiolus is basically a junction of or, or a crossover of so many different muscles at this point so this point at the corner of the mouth is called the modiolus okay so this one over here is the large zygomatic muscle and the function of the zygomatic major muscle is to pull upward so it pulls the lip upward laterally um, on the mouth okay so this muscle helps us give us a it helps us in making a big smile and this muscle is the zygomatic minor muscle and it is it originates on the ventral surface of the zygomatic bone so right on the cheek and it inserts itself um, in the skin above the upper lip right below the nose in the nasolabial groove as it is called it helps in elevating the upper lip laterally okay so zygomatic major and zygomatic minor so the next muscle on the face is orbicularis muscle okay so I'm going to move this over here orbicularis muscle okay so this over here is the orbicularis oculi you see there are two little muscles that make up the orbicularis oculi and both these muscles insert in the medial wall of the orbit of the eye and the tissue of the eyelid so one part attaches to the medial wall of the orbit the other to the tissue of the eyelid and it helps us close the eye so the function of orbicularis oculi is to close the eye orbicularis means circular and oculi means the eye so circular muscles around the eye are known as orbicularis oculi yeah so this muscle that we are looking at is called platysma 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 is a muscle that helps in pulling down the mandible so it's the opposite of what the temporal muscle and the masseter do masseter and temporal temporalis muscle pull up the jaw the platysma pulls down the jaw and helps in tensing up the neck this muscle if you look at the origin and insertion it's kind of upside down because it originates on the uh, fascia of the pectoral muscles so pectoral fascia right over here um, the skin around the pectoral muscles and it inserts in the inferior bottle of the mandible okay so the function of this muscle is to tense the skin of the neck and depress the mandible the last muscle in the group of uh, the 
the facial muscle is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. The sterno means sternum, clido means clavicle, mastoid refers to the mastoid process um, of the temporal bone. So this over here, this deep muscle is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. So I'm going to isolate this muscle and you can see that the sternocleidomastoid muscle originates at the uh, the mid clavicular region the manubrium of the sternum and it inserts itself into the mastoid process of the temporal bone so the function of the sternocleidomastoid muscle is to flex and rotate the head here you can see the head and cervical rotation and the other function is also in cervical spine flexion and here you see uh, the spine and lateral flexion or rotation of the neck